Hello. Hello. Welcome to Drunk K-Pop, the show where we watch K-Pop videos and get wasted. I'm Claire. And I'm Abby. Here we are, your K-Pop guys, here to take you on a spiritual journey through K-Pop. What are we watching today? Today we are checking out Taeyeon's new solo release. It's called, What Do I Call You? What Do I Call You? I guess we'll find out. Maybe. I mean, we may not. That's not my name. Yeah. Ting Tings. <laughs> It's just a response to the Ting Tings, I think. It's a diss track to mm -hmm. Ting Tings. Yep. For sure. Stacy was inspired by it. They call me Stacy. Mm -hmm. Yep. Confirmed. Anyways, <laughs> I'm excited about this. I think Tan solo releases are almost ubiquitously good. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I am excited about this. What about you? Yeah. I think it's going to be really interesting. It seems sort of ballad y. Mm -hmm. But you can never tell with Tan. No. Because I for a while I was like, oh, she's just explicitly like her solos are ballads. And then. She did, uh, was it Spark? Spark, yeah. Yeah, and that was a banger. Mm -hmm. So you never know. You never Ooh. know. Headphones on? Up. Headphones on. This is Tan, what do I call you? She looks real sad. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, oh he's leaving. Is it a one-night stand? Or like a breakup? Okay. Okay, so a breakup. Okay, so like a breakup. This this hard bang on her is just it's giving me it's making me think of Stacy. Oh, that's interesting. So it's very it's she already looks very youthful, but it's like yeah. adding to that to me. Customer, the first thing we need to do everything is everything that has an association. Has association. Okay. So she all okay, the things so that are his or remind her of him mm -hmm. of the panda man. Okay. God bless SM still being like, oh yes, the safest thing is to just put, put animal heads, heads on people. Masks on people. Totally normal. That's very bittersweet. Okay. Are you gonna go set it on Turning fire? Plants. Hmm. You have to give a testimony? Oh, you know what this is like? Mm. Eternal sunshine of the spotless mind. Ooh, yeah. Like, that's what they do. They bring all their stuff, and then they talk about it, and then they erase all their memories Ooh. of the, the relationship. There yes, we go! Yeah, nice! Oh, oh that mask is terrifying. That's, I, I don't like that. it in real life. I don't I like mean, it. I feel like it wasn't, it didn't look like that in the picture. It was like a full, like, mascot head. No, it was that same mask, but... Oh, okay. I hate it. <gasps> oh, oh, no, he's oh. Nice. oh. He's gone. Except now they're together. I like the short hair on her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she she really pulls it off a lot. The beret gives her like this elfish vibe. Mm -hmm. But it also like hides the bangs, so it's mm -hmm. like more softness. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Oh no. My memory racing is going bad. Those earrings are like oh. chandeliers. Oh no. Oh no, more masks. No, no, no. More masks. His friends are here. I'm gonna go back and have a party. I'm back in her memories. Positive times. This is this a new party? No, it's the same party. I think okay. she's just wearing a hat now. Okay. I think the hat drew my attention. To this. That's a beautiful shot. Mm -hmm. Merry Christmas. Terrifying panda man. Mm -hmm. Okay. That was really good. That was a beautiful song. Mm -hmm. And I, I like like Tan in general. With her, with her solos, I find that a lot of the for one, the lyrics are amazing. Yes, in general, but I find that she does some really interesting. Like she writes about these very, or I don't know if she writes it actually, but like her yeah, songs, but her songs are written are very realistic moments that people don't really think about in relationships. Mm -hmm. Or like like Four Seasons, which is a, a thumbnail currently on a YouTube thing of like there's a similar thing of this feeling of how your romance kind of goes through seasons and yeah. when you're in a relationship and the way things sort of happen. And I think this is a very relatable This moment. is super relatable. Like when you when your relationship changes with someone that you were so close with and like mm -hmm. what what are you now to yeah. me? 
what do we do with this? If I run into you on the street, do I say, Are we friends? Hello? Are we not? Are yeah. we strangers? Like, that's yeah. crazy. And that happens every time you break up with someone, basically, mm-hmm. and it's very relatable. Yeah. Yeah, and I think, yeah, definitely, I'm glad that you spotted the Eternal Sunshine reference So cool, start. so that cool. Was a really neat way to illustrate the idea of the lyrics as mm-hmm. well, of like, okay, I have all these memories and all of these things, what do I do with them? They're just, they're just in, this box. in this box, cluttering up my life. And they're just in your head, yeah. and in your box, and you're just like, I don't, what? I can't get, get rid of them, yeah. what do I do with them? What do I do with all of this now that yeah. you're gone? So, so really wonderful and deep and, mm-hmm. and melancholy. Yeah, but and, and it's not like sad. But yeah. It's like a really good like uh, yeah. like what yeah. do we do now? And it's and that's something that you really and with her voice it it gives this like uh, but in such a gentle like almost like a sigh kind of way. Yeah. Where it's not it's not fully like crying and it's not like laying on the floor for six hours, though sometimes you can do that with her songs. Yes. You're welcome to, however you feel. Yes. Um, but it is very much like a gentle, like... It's a sigh. A sigh is a good yeah. way to have described it. Yeah. It's like a little bit breathy, but not breathy. Yeah. And it's just... And it suits her voice so well. Mm-hmm. So it's... I, I really am thinking about it, and I can't think of another... Like, I am maybe, but her voice is like a little bit too, um, like, of a pure tone. Yeah. To really get this kind of feeling. Yeah. So, so it's really interesting. It's really unique to her. Mm-hmm. And I think she u- utilizes her voice very well. Yes. And I want to say also the styling in this was really good. Mm-hmm. Outside of the terrifying animal mask, hated those. I didn't like the masks. Those were bad. We I think just... we can move on from that as a concept. Yeah, we but... could have gone with, like, the, um... Oh, what do I think you have? Tell me what... What song is that? Lionheart. Lionheart, yes. That was still terrifying. Yeah, but that one at least was a little bit more like, okay, it's fully an animal head guy. Yeah. And, like, I can address... This is not a human head. That's fine. We can we can truck along with this. Versus this was like a little bit too cl- like the mask was just a little bit too too small. I don't know. It was, I didn't. Uh, it, it was, was a little bit closer to, un- to yeah. Uncanny Valley for me, and I was like, oh no, I can't. I understand yeah. this is a person actually, but like I don't. It's, it was just weird. Yeah. Too. It wasn't uncanny enough. I guess I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. That applies only to computer animation. So yeah. <laughs> I don't think it, it applies it was, to it was too, Well, it just was too much, like, it, it wasn't cartoony enough for yes. me to be like, yes, this is, this like, is, I get that this is a fake head, to because yeah. we can't have Taeyeon in a music video with an actual with man, a real so man. people will be upset. Yeah. So I get why we did that, but, like, it was just a little bit too realistic, I guess? He was, and it was, like, That's creepy, it. Yeah. because it was not cartoonish. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I wanted a little bit more. Thanks for coming, joining me on full circle in that yes. process to get found to... Found it. We found the nugget wanted, at the end. I wanted it to be more cartoony to yeah. just like... Because it was distracting for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I was focusing on her and then like... I, I think it's because the, the panda mask, like, the, like it had big eye holes and then they blacked in the inside of his eyes. Mm-hmm. And so it made his eyes really tiny looking compared to like, the rest of the face. And it was like... Beady eyes. <laughs> Not here for that. But <laughs> otherwise, besides the masks... Really she lovely. Fantastic. What would and you rate this? I, I would give this a four. Yeah. I think so. I think this is definitely something, like, again, Taeyeon is a great vibe for, like, when you need a way to express a feeling, mm-hmm. you can find a song that she's made to express that feeling. And I really see myself, um, I'm hoping that I don't break up anytime soon, but if I do, I could see myself seeking that out and yeah. really, like, just... As I mentioned before, laying on the floor for six hours and listening to it. I feel that. I feel that strongly. <laughs> I agree. I'm going to give this a four. I think mm-hmm. that Tan has a really unique way of sounding, but also a really unique way of delivering a story through her lyrics mm-hmm. that, and through her voice that expresses human emotions in a way that a lot of K-pop glosses over for the bigger things like love yeah. and like new love and mm-hmm. stuff like that. So I think this was this is a different side of love that is really nice to explore. Yeah, that was very good. Mm-hmm. Great job, Tan. Uh huh. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and also hit the like button and the bell button to be notified when we post. Also, uh, take a look in the description box. Take a look at our Twitter account. We go in there to do album reviews and we talk about like hot topics, all sorts of things. I've been posting on there. My favorite of some of the um, end of the year stages mm-hmm. have been fun. Um, so make sure to hop on there and chat with us about that. Also, jump in the, in the comments and tell us how do you feel about this song? Did it hit you in the same emotional place that it hit us? Yeah. Or were you hoping for more along the lines of Spark, where it was a little bit more of a banger? Like, what were you thinking about this? How do you feel? Let us know.
Let us know. It's important to remember we are adults of legal drinking age, drinking in the safety of our own home. We have water and snacks on standby. Please take care of yourself, take care of your friends, take care of your body. And most importantly, remember to always drink Drink responsibly. responsibly. That was just a fist this time. Drink responsibly! Mimosas are so important. So delicious. Like, if you have to try any, any drink... Start with mimosas. Mimosa it's not a start. bad place to start. Just be careful because all that sugar will give you a hangover. Oh, for sure. Definitely, as we mentioned, hydrate. Hydrate. After having mimosas. Hydrate or dehydrate. Take mm-hmm. care of your body. Mm-hmm.